Hey everyone, and welcome to another video that's kind of like a PSA, but it's not getting a full PSA thing. It's going to be more of a piggyback on my first PSA, because it's it's about save modding. So, uh, this is also going to piggyback with a thread on Reddit, on the Binding of Isaac subreddit. The first thing I want to talk about is Secret Order. So you see, maybe it bothers me that I had to mod this save because it was missing stuff. And I have Left Hand more recently than I have Platinum God. Well, that doesn't make too much sense. Maybe I want to fix that. Okay. So, as usual, you don't need Binding of Isaac for this. You can just close that. Uh, hopefully everyone remembers how to get to your save file. So soul. Just copy that. Paste it out. Here you have it. And remember, if you don't know how, go to the first PSA that I have on my channel and uh, I tell you how to get there. And then we also want to remember, I just made shortcuts for this because it's way more convenient, uh, that we don't need serial.txt. So I'm just going to move it without actually copying it because you, you're you just going to delete it anyway because it messes with so.soul, possibly. So we're going to get out of there. We're going to pop open so.soul in good old-fashioned soul editor which I'll have another link to. It was in the first video, though. So uh, we don't need any of these things. Uh, we don't need LCOMP. We don't need BOSS. We don't need ULOCK. What we need here is lock or. Lock or is, as I said the first time, but now I'm actually going to go into detail with, the order of your unlocks. So you'll see that 97 is 1, 2, 3, etc. Because those are the things that I got first. 97 was my first secret here. And that's not to say it's the 97th secret. The value is actually what secret number it is. And that number is 1, which is the secret for Maggie. I'll have a link to the list of secrets in here. But uh, for my example, like I said, I'm only going to switch 0 and 1. 98 is the left hand. 90 is Platinum God. That's because the left hand was added after Platinum God. So, I mean, for this one, that's very simple. You just change that to 98 and that to 90. Now, the thing is here that you'll notice is these are numbers and these are strings. That doesn't seem to matter. Oh, I totally switched them wrong. This needs to be 90 and this needs to be 98. Notice that the first the first unlock, the most recent unlock, is number 0, not number 1. So that's why the least recent unlock is 97 rather than 98. There are 98 secrets, but you're counting from 0, so it only goes to 97. Now, my switch here, that was really easy because I just wanted to switch to. But say that for whatever reason you didn't have Kane yet, and you wanted to get Kane, but you didn't want to be really silly because it's the most recent thing you unlocked and you have like 90 secrets or something, that would be really annoying because you have to go all the way back here, move Kane into whatever number you want, and then go through every single one expanding it one. That's like actually the only way. It's very annoying. And that's just life. But for my example, we're doing something simple. I'm just going to save my current file don't need soul editor anymore I'm just gonna minimize it we're gonna go back into here the local host one and we're gonna replace move and replace now of course you should back it up and then switch them but I don't really need to because I know what I'm doing so we're gonna open the binding of Isaac again and wait for it to open because gotta do that and there it is and now when we go to stats, we still have all the secrets, but Platinum God is my most recent secret, and Left Hand is second most recent. Cool times. If I wanted to, I could make Platinum God my first secret and Maggie my most recent just by switching 90 and 1, which are going to be at 0 and 97 in Lockor now. Hope that's a good enough example for you. Next thing we're going to talk about is collection. So here, all the items, of course I found all the items on this file. But let's say we wanted to make one of them go missing, or all of them go missing. Making all of them go missing is more easy than making 
a uh, single one go missing, but it's more tedious. So like there, there are positives and negatives to both. Anyway, once again, we don't need the Binding of Isaac anymore. So we're going to go back, take so.soul, once again, copy it out here, and do that. Don't need you. Pop open so.soul. Reload the file. Don't need any of these. So we close all of them. And uh, let's see, it's not above lock or it's above you lock. No, here we go. Coals. Those are the things you've collected. Collections. So as you can see, they're all Booleans because it's true or false whether you've collected an item. So let's look at 162, for example. That's a value. If we want it to not be collected, just uncheck value. Okay, so let's just do that for a few. Like, let's say we haven't collected zero. Uh, we haven't collected... Wait, zero doesn't do anything. Don't, don't mess with zero, I assume. Because there are 198, not 199 items. So we haven't collected uh, 198 or 124 or uh, 59. That's good enough. So let's get rid of that. And if I mean, if you wanted to have no items collected, then you just uncheck all of them except zero. Don't mess with zero. And if you want to have something like all of the items unlocked but not collected, you would just make sure that you've given yourself all of the secrets or all of the proper secrets. There will be a link to the IDs of all of the items and secrets and etc. So don't worry about that. So we just save this, uh, we exit it, and we... Uh, where is my so.soul? Ah, there. Okay, we want this. We once again copy this in, move and replace. Sorry, that just opens on my other monitor. And then we open the Binding of Isaac again, and uh, we'll be missing some certain items. And you'll be able to see what those items are when you look at the list I link, which will have the IDs of all of the items in there. I didn't want to go to stats. I want to go to collection, and uh, look, a question mark. And uh, look, a question mark, and a question mark, and a question mark. So, you know, it's very easy to remove items if you so desire. Or to add items if you really can't find one. Like, on my other file, I can't find speedball. I could add that if I wanted to. I just look at the ID and I would check it. I'm not going to, but I could. Same thing with uh, Guppy's hairball. I haven't found Guppy's hairball on my other file. Uh, where is it, though? I don't know. I'm going to find it, though. There it is. So, there you go. There you have it. How to mess with the order of your unlocks and whether or not you found items. Hope this was helpful, and hope you learned something.